guys, this is my August favorites. I actually don't have too many things, so I feel like this video might not be as long as my average favorite. I say that, but I'll probably still be here for 20 minutes. Let's just jump in. I have three different skincare items. They're really random, but this has been working so well for me. I'm going to do an updated nighttime skincare routine because for a while I was testing out products here and there. I was wanting to use up products. I was just all over the board with my skincare and my skin definitely noticed and reacted and since then I was having I was noticing all these like bumps and really painful like I don't even want to call them blemishes they were like straight up pimples but they were underneath my skin they were like cystic acne but I was like spots here and there I, I just thought something has got to give I have to like start getting more regimented I need to like crack down so there's been a couple changes that I've implemented and I finally have my skincare routine down to like it's golden and it's I've noticed a huge change in my skin so a couple of those products that I have noticed really help to make a difference the number one is my Clarisonic meat and I know I have talked about this product in so many videos for years on my channel. You guys know I love this product, but the thing is, while I was sampling and testing and trying out new products, I stopped using this. Some of the cleansers I was trying was too abrasive to use with this. I didn't really remember I had this. I had it away in a closet after I started with the new cleanser. And after I started seeing my skin go haywire, I just went back to this because I knew that this always cleared up my skin and made it good again and here we are again it's been a miracle to me and I love it I have been using it consistently with my Cebu bar soap I get asked so often from you guys if I'm still using the Cebu products and while I'm not using the entire line like I used to be because I have branched out and tried other products and fallen in love with other products that bar cleanser I should have brought it in here it's in my shower has been tried and true from day one and it's my favorite cleanser to use with this brush. I use both the pump and the bar. At the moment I'm using the bar, I just rub my Clarisonic on the bar and I give my face a good exfoliating whatever every morning in the shower and I can't even tell you what this has done for my skin. So I'm sorry that I ever left you <laughs> and started reusing other products, but now I've learned my lesson, a very valuable lesson, and this has been back into my, worked back into my morning skincare routine and I could not be happier. My skin could not be more thrilled. So I highly recommend this. If you don't have one, if you've never tried one, do yourself a favor because it will do your skin wonders. To take off my makeup at night, when I first start, tried this product, this is the Ever Luminous Nutrient Rich Cleansing Balm. I was like, oh man, this is too thick. I experienced crazy breakouts when I tried a lot of the Ever products, but then I realized it was just my skin clarifying and going through the process of like the products were really working they were just doing what the Clarisonic does kind of bringing all the dirt and grime to the surface and then so your skin reacts and then it cleared up this has been so amazing for my for my nighttime regimen it's a really thick balm and I love the packaging of it because you don't have to dip your fingers into any of it as you can see I'm almost gone it's almost all gone I need to purchase another one it's a lot like cleansing milks, but this one's super thick. So on the days like today where I have a lot of makeup on or I just feel like I really need a deep cleanse, I use this. And honestly, I've been using it every night, even when I'm not wearing crazy heavy makeup. I just love how it feels. It's so moisturizing. It breaks down the makeup so well. I just use it with a warm washcloth or a muslin cloth, and it gets off every darn last trace of makeup. And I really attribute this helping to clear up my skin. So this has been... My favorite cleanser at night. I do still use Bioderma. I start with Bioderma a lot of times and just take my eye makeup off and like my mascara and work that off. And then I always, always use this on my, uh, the rest of my face. I have not used Bioderma on my entire face and I can't even tell you how long. As long as I've been trying this out. It's been so good. I really, really recommend that. It's just such a nice, like, thick balm and it feels so good. And then I was kind of going through my eye, my eye cream samples and just, you know, weaning out stuff. I've been traveling a lot this summer, and so I always like to take little travel containers of things. And I came across this from Bliss. It's the Triple Oxygen Instant Energizing Eye Gel. And if you're familiar with me talking about Bliss products in the past, I'm a really big fan of their Triple Oxygen face mask, and I do have it in my shower. But this is 
kind of like an eye gel version, and this has been my most favorite eye product I've used in such a long time. I'm usually not really partial to one product or another, but I always use an eye cream just to hydrate because I'm starting to notice crow's feet and just some aging, and so it's really important to use something on my eyes. I don't really ever, I haven't really cared what it is, but I used up this little sample, and I'm gonna definitely be repurchasing a full size. At the moment, I do have about three other samples in jars, like full-size jars of eye cream, so I won't be repurchasing anytime soon, but it's definitely a product that I'm look fo looking forward to having. It feels so good. It's so hydrating. It's thick, but it's a gel. It really hydrates that area. When I wake up in the morning, it still feels really hydrated around my eyes, and I just really, really like it. I really recommend it if you are looking for a new eye gel or eye cream. This is really good stuff. The one thing that I really attribute my face kind of getting better with has been this baby. This is the cold press Moringa oil and I talked about the Moringa body butter I think in last month's favorites. Moringa, the company, they sent me this huge box of stuff from like cooking spices and the body butter and the oil and truth be told I really hadn't been using anything or even trying anything and except for that body butter. They don't know that I'm making this video. They didn't ask me to talk about this in a video. I just, when my skin went crazy, I was all out of my Argon oil, which has always been my kind of fallback when my skin's crazy, so I decided to try this. I did a little bit of research on it online. I read about how it's supposedly really good for hyperpigmentation, for lightening scars, for anti-aging and all that, and the one thing I don't like is the there's no applicator on it. You literally just pour it out into your hands. I wish there was like a dropper or something or maybe even a pump. I've used almost about halfway of the bottle for the last month, and oh my god, like if you guys remember my love affair with Argon Oil, which I still continue to have a love affair with, I still think it's an amazing product, you need to give this a try. I would say it's right up there with the Argon Oil from Josie Marin that I was such a fan of for years. I have noticed, the biggest thing that I noticed is I used to have this, last week I had this cut or scar, I don't even know, scratch, open wound across the top of my forehead, and I was actually just filming my getting ready with me video before this one and I talked about it and I was like oh my god I didn't even notice like it was gone because it was so prominent last week that's this oil also down here I've been getting really bad breakouts and like cystic acne underneath my skin and I pick at it and it leaves behind scars those have been lightened by this I mean it's a completely amazing hydrator for your face I noticed big time that it has lightened these scars on my face and I cannot be more grateful to it. So if you haven't tried Moringa oil, if you haven't heard about it, just do a little bit of research online because there's so much of it and you can get overwhelmed and try it out. I don't know where you can purchase it. You can't purchase it in like an Ulta or a Sephora. You can purchase it online. I'll link their website directly below. I'm sure you can probably find it at health food stores, maybe even Whole Foods or places like that. But oh my god, it's amazing. It's a lifesaver. I've been using it every single night and it feels so good to sleep in and I just really love it. And finally, I think my skin's like back on track. And then a couple makeup items. This eyeshadow from Clinique, this is the Black Honey, and I didn't even know I had this until a recent eyeshadow purge, which you guys saw, and I've been so happy with this eyeshadow. I don't even remember when I purchased this. That's so sad. It's a perfect fall color. It's kind of like a reddish coppery brown, and I've been using it both in my crease and as an all-over lid color, just blended out. Amazing all-over lid color. It's the perfect little eyeshadow to take with you when you're traveling because you don't need anything else. It's super beautiful. I absolutely love it. I would definitely recommend it, especially if you're looking for some new fall makeup. And then for my eyebrows, I've gone back to using powder, and it's always this one when I use powder. It's the Bobbi Brown Eyeshadow in Taupe, and I use it with the Flat Definer E15 brush. I really like it. I just kind of go through spurts. Sometimes I like using a pencil brow pencil, brow pencil, sometimes I like the shadow, but lately I've been really into the shadow and this little duo has been so great in just helping to fill in sparse areas, not necessarily darken my eyebrows, but define them and fill them in and I really like it. It's a perfect color for my super dark brows. And the last thing that I have to share with you is a new hairbrush. This is the Ibiza something hairbrush. I was doing some research online because I've been in the market to find a boar bristle hairbrush because I've talked to you guys about it before. I have a lot of regrowth from when I lost a lot of my hair when I was pregnant and when it comes in, it's coming in really super wavy. I did a lot of keratin treatments in the past and I haven't done one since before I was even pregnant so it's been like three years that I haven't done one because I haven't felt the need to have one 
I really think that like the effects of the last one and the one before that that I did have lingered on and my hair has been super great but I'm seriously considering another one because with all the new hair and regrowth that I've been having it's only like this section and it's super crimpy and curly and I absolutely hate it. The rest of my hair is like perfectly, I won't say straight, but it's like wavy, but it's easy to straighten with a round brush. But before I got this one, I was using a uh, like just a normal bristle brush and it wasn't getting this part super straight. So I was having to blow it dry and then go over it with a flat iron and I was putting too much heat on my hair and doing a lot of damage. And so I did a little research and decided I wanted to get a bore bristle brush because this will really help to, well supposedly helps to like straighten your hair and not have to then go in and use a flat iron. So I decided on this one, I purchased it from Nordstrom, it's probably the most expensive hairbrush I've ever purchased before, but oh my god, I love, what a world of a difference. I'm going to do a updated routine so you can kind of see how I use it. It's also an amazing brush that gives your hair super, super, super amount of volume and you could even curl the ends with it, it's lightweight, it has like a cork handle, it's super comfortable. With my plastic brushes, I would always worry about the hair when I was round brushing it, my hair would get caught between the handle and the, the ferrule, and it would pull and tug and hurt so badly, but this doesn't do that. It's an amazing brush, a really good investment. I am really good about like cleaning it out after each time that I use it, but it's been a lifesaver, and it's helped me cut down on the amount of heat that I've had to use on my hair, and really helped to get my hair straight so really recommend this I know they have a whole line of brushes ranging from all different sizes but this is the perfect size for my thickness and length of hair and that's all that I have I'm sorry that I feel like I rambled a lot and talked a lot in this video but I just had few products but a lot to say about them so I hope you guys enjoyed it thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon bye okay okay so that's weekend and then I'm gonna add my weekend sticker which is for my newest addiction and it's cute, it's like 